All right, legends, welcome back to video number 23. And if you have made it this far, consider yourself a PHP programmer because that's all we did in the last video on the if else statement. So, congratulations to all of you. You guys are ready to learn what else if statements are. So, if else are completely different, they're not completely different. Else if is like 99.9% .9 like an if else statement, but they are two different things. So, with, el with else if statements, we can test for more than two conditions. With if else statements like we did in the last video we can only check we can only test really for true or false so let's go ahead and create an else if statement so I'm just gonna delete all this stuff and I'm gonna create two new variables I'm gonna create a variable called a and we'll equal it to 5 create a variable called B and we will equal it to 6 okay so let's create our if condition I'll just go ahead and add the curly braces now and we'll give it a condition that um, a is less than the variable b, which is true. So we're going to echo, uh oh, echo a is less than b. And we're going to close it out with a semicolon. Okay, so with an else if statement, we can create another condition. So else if, all one word, lowercase, no spaces in between, not like that. Actually, that still might work, but it's not the way I learned it, so I'm not going to do it. And let's create another condition. If A is equal to B, let's execute echo A is equal to B. Go ahead and close it out with a semicolon. And if A is greater than B, echo A is greater than B. So you see what we did here. In the last video, we didn't have this if else statement. All we really did was check to see if something was true or false. But with an else if statement, we could check two conditions. So if A is less than B, it's going to output as true. But if it's equal to B, it's going to A is going to be equal to B, or else A is going to be greater than B by default. So in the last video, we're only checking for two arguments, or we only had two possible outcomes. But with an else if statement, we could test for three. And a good example, a good example of this would be like if you wrote a program where somebody was supposed to pick a number between 1 through 10 and say the number that the computer had in mind was 7 and you picked a 4 it would let you know that you picked a number that was lower than the number or if you picked a number that was 8 it would let you know that the number was too high but if you did pick 7 it would let you know that you picked the correct number so an else if statement gives us three possible outcomes and an else if just gives us two so let's go ahead and save this and I'll reload it. A is less than B. We knew that because A is 5 and B is 6. But what if we create A equals 6 and let this program run its course? A is equal to B. Or if A is more than 6, we'll give it a floating number. We'll give it 7.5. A is greater than B. Okay, so it's a lot like the last video with the if else statements, but keep in mind that if else and else if are two different uh, logical operators in PHP. If else, we can test for two, true or false. Else if, we can test for three. So good luck with this, and I'll see you guys in the 